What's going on everybody? Welcome to the X Factor Fitness channel. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe right now before we even get into it. Turn your notifications on. You do not want to miss any of the videos. The videos I upload are workout videos, like follow along, even simply workout videos, just talking you through workouts, kind of like what we're going to do today. And also I got some food challenges up here. On this channel, it is strictly fitness and health. But if you want to see another side of me, I want you guys to go over to the Three Rings podcast. That's a podcast with two of my brothers and we just talk about life all right some fun over there y'all go ahead check it out for me subscribe while you're over there let them know in the comments that x factor fitness sent you but today today in this video we are going to go over a workout a workout that i completed from watching a boxing match so the boxing match that i'm referring to is logan paul versus nate Rock. i have no idea why this fight even existed but apparently Logan Paul, which a lot of you probably already know, is a famous YouTuber, but he's also a boxer. Nate Robinson is a basketball player. I did not know he was a boxer until this match. Maybe he shouldn't box. That's none of my business. My purpose for today is to show you guys this workout, a workout from Logan Paul. This is his bicep workout, a whole workout, only biceps. Now I was confused too. Why would you want to just train biceps in a whole workout? And this is why. The knockout that he delivered to Nate Robinson was outrageous. Seems like Logan Paul has a good concept when it comes to training arms. He splits up his biceps and his triceps and he gives them their own full workout, which I guess in turn helps him build muscle on his biceps and it helps to make them stronger for knockout. All right, enough small talk about Logan Paul. Let's jump right into this workout. So he decides to do eight exercises for the bicep, four sets on each exercise and with the rep range of eight to 15 reps. It's crazy. Personally, I don't destroy my biceps with eight exercises in a workout, but I'm also not knocking people out in boxing matches. So let's just stick to what Logan Paul has for us, all right? He starts out his workout with dumbbell curls. Real basic movement right here. You just wanna make sure that you are fully stretching that bicep at the bottom of the movement and that you are squeezing it at the top. That contraction is everything when it comes to training your biceps. This is a real good exercise for the peak. So the next exercise he has are the isolation curls. So these isolation curls are kind of like dead hang curls. You're pretty much just bent over and you're letting your arm hang. So by leaving your arm hanging, there is no support at all. It's just your arm and the dumbbell. So you really have to give it your all and really focus on using no swinging at all, no momentum. It's called an isolation curl because no other body part is used in this exercise. Only biceps and forearms, of course. With all of these movements, your forearms will be turned on, activated, which is good because you do want some Popeye forearms to go with those biceps. So you hit your eight to 15 reps on the left and then you hit your eight to 15 reps with the right, four sets. Next up, we have the easy bar curls. So I don't have an easy bar here at home, so I have a barbell and that's what I use. So easy bar, it just gives you that nice angle to where your wrists won't be destroyed during this exercise. With a straight bar like a barbell, your wrists will be taxed and it might hurt a little bit depending on how heavy you go. So keep that in mind, but I just use the barbell curl, really focused on, again, not swinging, not using any momentum, just bringing the bar straight up and down, really squeezing the biceps. I make sure that I always slow down all my reps. It's not a race, guys, it's a marathon. There's no need to go in here rushing all of your movements. You wanna make sure you're slow and controlled and steady throughout your whole entire exercise. The fourth exercise that he does are hammer curls. I love hammer curls simply because you're switching that grip. You're switching the angle up on your bicep. You're targeting some of that outside bicep and you're also targeting a lot of that forearm. Hammer curls are a go-to for me. So I'm actually glad that he put this in his workout. And if you notice, after three exercises of four sets, I am almost destroyed. Again, I would never do eight exercises for biceps. I have arm days where I would do three to four sets on the bicep and three to four sets on the tricep. But I'm all about volume, I'm all about hypertrophy, and in this workout, we are getting both. All right, up for number five, we have preacher curls. So right here, I have a bench just at an angle, and we're doing single arm preacher curls. Again, all these exercises are gonna be super effective when it comes to developing that peak on the bicep. So you wanna make sure that you're stretching your bicep at the bottom of the movement, and you're really getting that contraction 
function at the top. One of the things I like about this workout is that each arm is getting their own work, except for that easy bar curl, barbell curl that we did. We're using these dumbbells to where our left arm is getting the same amount of work our right arm is receiving. There's no muscle imbalances here. Everything is gonna be equal. That's very important because you don't want one arm larger than the other. And if you do have one arm that is larger than the other, then you just need to make sure that you maybe scale back just a little bit on the larger arm or even just give the smaller arm more work. All right, up next at number six, we have the rope curls. So I don't have a rope here at home, but I can improvise. I have a towel, a small towel that I hooked up to my resistance band, just like a cable and getting to work. Just like the rope, our hands are close together at the bottom of the movement. And then when we pull up to squeeze our biceps, we can stretch out the rope or stretch out the towel, whatever you have. This is a real good exercise here. When I'm in the gym before the pandemic, I was doing rope curls on every arm day. Rope curls, I do believe are very, very effective exercise when it comes to bicep development. So shouts out to you, Logan, for this exercise right here. Rope curls are a must. All right, we're almost done. This workout is draining. My arms are feeling like jello at this point. If it wasn't for YouTube, I would have quit a long time ago, but I really wanted to give you guys this workout, so I just kept it going. It was mental, I just had to fight through it. Coming at number seven, we have cable curls. I did not do cable curls. I switched it up and I did resistance bands curls. Resistance bands are very effective. I do encourage everyone to have a set of resistance bands at home. Great for your at-home workouts. Resistance bands are gonna come into play. They're like cables to me. You know, if you're in the gym and you have cables, you can change your resistance based on the weight. Same as the resistance bands. The resistance bands that I'm using here, I have three levels. I have light, medium, and heavy, and I have all of them attached. So if it gets too heavy, I could just take off uh, one of the strands and make it just a little bit lighter. But I'm no chump, so I got it in as heavy as I could, getting eight to 15 reps. With these resistance bands, I was able to get all 15 reps, all four sets. No question. All right, last exercise. Thank you, because there is no point of doing this many bicep exercises ever. It makes no sense. But again, everyone is different and everyone has their own objective. And Logan Paul needs these bicep exercises simply because he wants to knock out people in the ring. Bigger biceps, stronger biceps, easy knockout. Do I need to run it back one more time? All right, so number eight, we have concentration curls. So similar to the isolation curls that you saw in exercise two, right here we have the concentration curls where we can sit down and we can rest our tricep on our inner thigh. Although we don't want a lot of momentum, a lot of swinging, we have that nice fixed position right here, not allowing our arm to move. So that's the difference between the concentration curls and the isolation curls. I prefer concentration curls simply because I can go a little heavier on this. And I also can make sure there's no swinging in my arm and I'm using nothing but my forearm and my bicep to really get the work in. Eight exercises, four sets, eight to 15 reps. That is almost 500 repetitions on the bicep. If your biceps aren't bleeding after this workout, you did something wrong. If your arms don't feel like jello after this workout, you did something wrong. If you are not extremely pumped after this workout, you did something wrong. Logan Paul, shout out to you for this workout. I don't wanna train biceps anymore for the next two weeks. I'll go ahead and put the link down below on where I found this workout. I just Googled it online. And I'll be willing to bet that Logan Paul probably doesn't even do this workout. This is something he probably was interviewed and he just threw some exercises down, threw some repetitions down, just to help you guys get some work. But if he does do this workout, on a regular basis, that would explain a lot. All right, YouTube, that's all I have for you today. Another celeb workout. Make sure y'all give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below if you wanna see anything else, anything in particular, any celebs that you wanna see me do their workout. I will gladly do their workout and bring it to you guys for you to see how it went. So with that being said, that's all I have. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.